What's going on guys? Max aka Mature here. Um, just making a video to talk to you guys about advanced bone breaks. So I know lately a lot of people have wanted me to uh, put the m m more advanced bone breaks and stuff. For example, the Top X, the X Open, uh, the Fossil, the Front Open, stuff like that. And so I'm, I'm going to be making them very soon. I just want to talk to you guys about kind of like risks with these moves. And by risks, I don't necessarily mean physical risks or anything, but there will be one or two just like with any bone break. But these these are the moves that are like harder for some people to get, while others will be able to get them very easily. And the reason that is is because when you bone break, um, if you ever do this, like, without a shirt on or, like, a beater, like one of these, and you bone break, and you'll notice how when you do that, if you look right here at my shoulder, um, it should be about here, you'll see how there's just that clump of, like, skin and muscle that all meets right at that corner right there in the center. Not necessarily on the shoulder, but, like, right here behind and that's the biggest problem with these more advanced bone breaks. Because a lot of these bone breaks will require you to move your shoulders forward instead of the outward direction. And it causes all the muscle and uh, whether it would be fat or skin or anything. And it causes it to make like push into that one spot. And that's why the, like, the more advanced ones are hard for some people to get, while others are easier. The bigger guys, I can say, like myself, whether it's fat, muscle, it doesn't matter. It, you could be extremely like healthy and everything, but you have like a lot of muscle on you. It's still going to be really hard for people to get this move, just because when you do these, all of it is going to meet in one point. And when all of it meets in the same point, it's going to create like a pressure and it's going to be pushing away, pushing so you can't pull your shoulder all the way forward where you need to. And it's going to cause so you can't get some of these moves down. This is why I've been pretty cautious about putting some of these because I didn't want to like exactly have all these complaints. I want to make it all in one video so you guys understand why this would happen for some people and not for others. If you guys watch a lot of bone breaking videos, you'll notice how some of the best bone breakers, I'm not saying there's not big bone breakers that are really good, but I'm saying you'll notice how the people doing all these extremely complex moves are the extremely skinny people. And I'm not saying that all the skin and the muscle and everything for skinny people don't all meet in the same spot. You'll notice even on the skinniest bone breakers, you still see all the skin and everything pushed together. It's just for the bigger guys, bigger people, it all, it like, there's more of it. So the pressure is going to be greater for some of these more advanced moves. So I just wanted to make a video to let you guys know, like, what the problem is with these. So some people will be able to get them down, some may take more practice, it might be harder. And that's where the main risk is. But also, for some of the people that attempt these moves that are the bigger people, it's gonna, if you push yourself too hard on some of these, it can actually cause damage. This is like the first bone break that, like the first moves that are gonna actually can cause some problems. Like, if you push yourself too much, when that pressure is happening, it can end up in tearing muscles in your shoulders and stuff and um, just cause a lot of problems. You can get like stretch marks and ripped skin if you try, if you're, I'm saying like if, if it like starts hurting when you get like even to right here. So if you're, if you go like this and it starts hurting, if you can't even go straight up without it hurting, I don't suggest trying these more advanced moves. Not yet, at least until you get more flexible with your shoulders, because it will, it, it can cause damage. Now, I'm not saying all bone breaks will do this, because all bone breaks won't. 
Um, it's just these next couple that I'm going to be putting out are the ones that can cause problems. And I'm not held responsible for any, any injuries that you guys might get. So I want you guys to stay safe when you guys attempt these next couple moves I'm going to put out. And don't push yourself if you think that, like, that might be the reason. So I think it's a good idea when you bone break to look in the mirror and just check out the amount of, like, fat or muscle or skin that's meeting in one place. And if it's hard for you to go straight up when you do, for example, like a wrist grab, and if you go straight up like that and it's hard for you to, like, bend it forward, you can't, like, pull it all the way down and stuff like that, then I suggest you, like, practice on your flexibility before you practice some of these moves. So I don't want to get anyone angry or anything by putting this, by talking about the bigger guys or anything, but I just want you guys to stay safe. So um, I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any more questions, make sure for this especially, you comment and um, you message me if you don't want to comment it or anything. And I'll see you in the next tutorials.